Welcome to this new feature discovery video about aerodynamics. I'm Sebastian Bloch, CEO at Asobo Studio and in charge of aerodynamics. Today we'll go over the latest improvements in the simulator, more specifically the new propeller system that's been added to the simulator. We'll go over a new CFD simulation system that's been added to the simulator and we'll go over how we do test flights to improve the simulator. With Simulate 8, Microsoft Flight Simulator comes with an all-new propeller simulation. Instead of a single point computation, surfaces are now modeled and simulated separately and accurately over each propeller blade. The new surfaces are animated accurately with a spinning propeller. When the propeller starts spinning fast, the blades are oversampled in time to avoid any resonance. Three aircraft have been updated with this new system. The C-152, the C-208 and the King Air 350. Aircraft creators can have access to the system for any of their propeller aircraft. With this new simulation, P-Factor, Torque and all other propeller effects are now simulated natively. Aircraft creators only need to specify the shape of the propeller surfaces. This new simulation also natively simulates propeller drag and the propeller now correctly stops spinning when feathered. Each blade is simulated like a small wing and provides lift and drag in the correct direction. In addition to the new propeller simulation coming with SimUpdate 8, a new CFD simulation is going to come with SimUpdate 9. This all-new CFD simulation will simulate the air that flows over the aircraft's surfaces. CFD stands for Computational Fluid Dynamics. This means that instead of applying the wind as it is in the environment, the airflow is simulated over the aircraft's surfaces and the wind direction and strength will be self-impacted by the aircraft's surfaces. Air will flow over the wing and other surfaces of the aircraft, be deflected and then hit the surfaces which are behind on the aircraft and the airflow will be redirected. The CFD also simulates the airflow that is impacted by the propeller and then washes over the wing, providing additional lift. The wing then bends the airflow downwards, impacting the fuselage and the tail. With this new simulation, we get natively simulated deep stall as well as natively simulated prop wash. With the CFD, we simulate the air getting accelerated by the propeller, flowing along the fuselage and hitting the tail of the aircraft. When deflecting the tail surfaces, the air is deflected sideways, creating a moment that moves the aircraft's tail. The CFD natively simulates the vortices created by the lift generated by the wings. Several new display tools are available to visualize the airflow. These tools allow to better see how the air is deflected by the aircraft surfaces. One visualization shows the air flowing at the speed at which it flows by the aircraft, while the other visualization shows how the air is accelerated by the aircraft, so you really only see the deflections. The CFD will be available for aircraft creators and any existing aircraft using the modern flight model can be easily ported over to the CFD simulation without any additional work or tweaking. Now to Francois, who will explain us how we use flight testing to improve the simulator. Hello, my name is Francois, and I'm a test pilot and a technical designer on Microsoft Flight Simulator. I own the commercial pilot license and was a flight instructor. I've been trained into flight testing at the Test Pilot School or a flight test in Germany. I am also a member of the Society of Flight Test Engineers. When flight testing a real aircraft, we want to explore the aircraft behavior and performances through the flying envelope to gather data. With that acquired data, we have a solid base to compare to the simulation. To give a concrete example of the process application, when adding the new CFD into the simulation, we discover the change of the stall behavior. 
if you hold the aircraft into the stall, it will have a pitch down moment at first, then with that pitch down and lower angle of attack will come a pitch up moment, keep holding the stall and the nose will drop again and so on, a few times before stabilizing itself. That behavior felt more realistic, but one could be surprised by the delta in pitch oscillation. The only way to know was to take the real aircraft up for a few stalls and see by ourselves. Not only the effect was the same in flight, but the pitch oscillation was that impressive, with the delta between pitch down and up of about 20 degrees without flaps and up to 45 degrees with full flaps. On the ground, we were also able to record the prop wash speed of the propeller to adjust the airflow of the CFD. Thank you for watching and uh, fly with you soon in the Microsoft Flight Simulator.